we have really been taught, if you're not feeling good, put something from the outside in. If your kid is not feeling well, you got to take a medication and put something from outside in. And we really haven't been taught, even though we come pre-programmed with this intuition. Do you think society knocks it out of us and it's hard to untrain what society has done? Yeah, I think that the, it's probably always been a human issue, right, with with the way that we live our lives throughout history. But I think now more than ever, we're so divorced from our roots and we're so divorced from checking in with our body. But people think just because something's common, they equate that with being no- normal. Uh, mm-hmm. Ubiquity doesn't necessarily equate with normalcy. And many people are so divorced from what's even normal. And it's interesting. I start out the book with a quiz so they can kind of learn and be more introspective about their body. And that quiz is, is are questions that I adapted from questions that I ask patients. So it's interesting how many times as a clinician, when I'm consulting patients or people will say, whoa, like I thought that was normal. Mm. And they'll just like, I thought that was just me. I thought that. And then they have this, this realization of saying I was settling for not feeling good just because I thought that was the way it was quote unquote normal. And it's really amazing to see people uh, check in with themselves. And I, yeah, I agree with you. Like overall, we don't realize like what our body's ability to do where it's not always adding more stuff from the outside in. Sometimes it's allowing our body the chance to, to upregulate things from the inside out yeah. and tap into these pathways that are lying in, in, in a slumber in dormancy and we haven't given our body the chance to to do what it's capable of. Yeah. I, I mean, to me, that's what I love about fasting is you can take a person who is dubious and doesn't believe in the healing power of their own body or hasn't been educated and you start to teach them how to fast and you reconnect them with this intelligence they didn't even know they had. And they don't have to believe in it. You just have to show them the way yeah. and the body does the rest. You're absolutely right. It's so funny that when people say about any one of these tools that we have within health and wellness and functional medicine, they'll say something like, well, do you, what do you, do you believe in it? Or do you believe in this? Or do you believe in fasting? Do you believe in healthy food? It's like, this isn't a faith. This is just like, it's just, you just, this isn't a matter of belief or not belief. It's, try it. How does it, how does it serve you? Give your body the chance to lean into these pathways, but this isn't, you're right. It's, it's you're going to notice it in your life. You don't have to believe in anything. You're just going to see it. The evidence will speak for itself. Yeah. Which is what is so incredible.